Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Live Your Dream Study, Work, and Play in Canada live session. We will begin in just a moment. If you have any questions for our speaker during the session, please write them in the live chat and we will answer as many as possible at the end. Okay, Shelly, you can begin. Great, thank you, Paula, and hello, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for joining our presentation today. As Paula said, my name is Shelly Quinn, and I'm the general manager at uh, the Whistler Adventure School. And uh, I'm going to be sharing with you uh, some information about our school, about how um, you can really benefit from an educational experience that is truly different from the norm. Um, you know, when, when some people think of, of international education, it can be uh, for a long-term goal of getting your master's degree or getting your um, undergraduate degree. Whistler Adventure School is a little bit different from that. Um, our school is really about mixing um, education, life experience, nature, um, and just having a break from the, the traditional um, way of education. So I'm here to kind of inspire those of you who are really looking for something different. Um, if you don't already uh, know where Whistler is, which some of you may not, uh, Whistler is a resort community town located about one and a half hours north of Vancouver in British Columbia. So uh, you would fly into Vancouver, which is a beautiful city in itself, and it's about a one and a half hour drive up uh, one of North America's most scenic um, highways into this beautiful year round mountain uh, town of Whistler. And uh, in the, in the wintertime, Whistler is very well known as uh, a destination ski and snowboard resort. And in the summer, we're surrounded by lakes, mountains, rivers, streams. So it's really an idyllic location to be able to um, come and enjoy your life, have a break from the norm and uh, get a valuable learning experience. So just to quickly cover a few things about the Whistler Adventure School, we are an accredited private training post-secondary school. So students coming to the Whistler Adventure School would apply for a study permit, uh, very much like going to any post-secondary college university career training center. So you're going to get a study permit with work allowance, which means you're going to be able to study and work in Canada for the duration of your program. And as I mentioned, we're located in beautiful Whistler, British Columbia. And as you can see from the top, our motto is live, learn, play. So we're really about making sure that our students get this incredible balance of life experience, um, have a great time, meet new people, uh, get to work to get work experience and to earn a living and get their studies. Um, and where uh, WAS, uh, I, I will say WAS for Whistler Adventure School, by the way, um, is we focus on very small interactive classes. So we're a non-traditional learning um, environment, meaning you're not coming to school every morning for three hours a day, sitting at your desk and listening to an instructor lecture to you. It's much more hands-on, interactive. Our maximum class size is 15, one five uh, students per instructor. So you're getting a lot of uh, hands-on learning and experience while you're um, learning. And our timetables really allow students to have this um, opportunity to go out and experience all of the things that uh, we have around them. Um, many of these photos that I'm showing you are actually taken by our students. We have an amazing marketing and media program, which is a one-year program that covers um, a variety of media and marketing. And uh, we use a lot of those uh, student photos. Um, just quickly, a little bit about the students here at uh, Whistler Adventure School. We, uh, we draw students from all over the world, including from within Canada. So about 
probably 50% of our students are Canadian. We have people from the US, we have students from uh, Mexico, from other places like South America, Europe, uh, Australia, New Zealand, and a percentage also um, from Asia. And the age, the median age at our school, um, although the minimum age, you can be as young as 18 to attend, but we have lots of mature students. So students who have maybe already pursued um, a post-secondary experience, maybe they've already been to college or to university and they're looking for something, uh, change, you know, a change. Maybe they have already been in the workforce for several years. And um, I can't see how many people are listening, but you know, in speaking with students, I, I, you know, a common thread is that uh, our students maybe have already been in the workforce for three or four years or more. And uh, particularly through these last couple of very troubling years with COVID, people are just looking for something different, just to, to restart their system, to have, be able to go out and have more fun and, and enjoy life while learning. And uh, so we find that a lot from kind of 25 to 35 years old uh, is probably our median um, age at the school. And really when we look at who our ideal student is at Whistler Adventure School, it's just someone who loves nature and thrives in a hands-on learning environment. So it may be that you've never really liked traditional learning or that you've already done a lot of traditional learning and you're ready for something different. Um, Whistler, if you are already a biker or a skier, probably you've heard of Whistler. It's quite famous uh, worldwide for having some of the best skiing, snowboarding, biking, and climbing um, in all of North America. So you don't have to do any of those sports to come to the Whistler Adventure School, but most of our students at least do have a love for nature. Um, because as you can see, um, even within school, our students are getting outdoors. So this is a couple of students that were at our school last year, and this is them in their photography course. So we have some of our classes that are based in our classroom with all the latest uh, computer and software equipment, but we also have our students going out with a professional photographer and learning how to use their equipment, learning how to take those amazing photos. Um, this is one of our students, um, Alain from Mexico City, um, enjoying himself up on the top of the mountains taking photos. So um, even though perhaps Alain was, you know, he's from a, a large city, just wanting to get out there and learn a little bit about what we offer, uh, he had an amazing time here. Um, quickly about some of our programs that we offer. So we have one year and six month uh, program offerings and they are diploma um, offerings. And as I said before, we are credited by the government of British Columbia. So you will be getting an official diploma. Um, probably our most, our most popular program is the marketing and media manager program. And I'll go into a little bit more detail with that one later. Um, another full year program is called mountain sport technician. This program is really for people who already have a love for either biking or skiing or both, because this gives a lot of hands-on skills for the behind the scenes um, industry of skiing and biking. And we also have our adventure tourism winter and adventure tourism summer programs. These are not classroom based. These last two programs are really learning things out in the mountains. You're learning backpacking and experiential leadership. So uh, really interesting things that can really just, again, add to your life experience so that you're, um, you're experiencing something that maybe you've never had the opportunity uh, to experience before. Um, if you're not able uh, to get away for a full year, uh, we also have some guide training programs. So in the winter time, if you're already a skier or snowboarder, we have an amazing ski and snowboard guide training program. Um, if you're a biker, we have our bike guide training program. And then we also offer the um, adventure tourism programs in a short uh, term format as well over six months. Um, oh, and also, sorry, design and innovation is a, a, an, a, an offering where you can choose any four courses out of our marketing and media or mountain sport technician and complete those in the, in the space of six months. So we try to um, make it possible to come. Maybe you don't want to come for a full year, but you have uh, time off that you could come and take some of our programs. 
So just sharing a little bit more and to give you a bit more background about um, kind of the, the feeling and the climate here in Whistler um, is we do get summer. It's nice and warm in the summer months. And then in the winter months, we get snow, so we get to ski. Um, I wanted to go through a little bit more detail about our marketing and media manager. And of course, if anyone is interested, um, we can connect after this presentation and I can give more uh, details. But basically, you're taking four media courses, so photography, photo editing, videography, and video editing. And as I mentioned, you're getting out and actually practicing these skills with professional photographers and videographers. <clears throat> We have an event planning um, course, which uh, our students actually get to take part in some of the real uh, world-class events that are held here in Whistler. We have world-class biking, uh, ski, gastronomy, um, uh, movie events, things like that, where our students can actually participate. And then we also have uh, internet marketing and social media and marketing strategy. And that course is taking, this program has taken over a full year. Okay, so here we just have more of our students just outside learning how to um, use their equipment. <clears throat> this would be a photo from our adventure tourism uh, summer. Uh, one of our adventure tourism summer courses is alpine hiking. So you're um, in very small groups of six people to one uh, guide and you're getting to get out in these amazing mountains. I can tell you I've lived um, in this region for 25 years and I just never get sick of it. It is just so beautiful. We have beautiful fresh air and fresh water. And uh, I think that for a lot of people, even before COVID, people loved to come and experience that. But now that people have been kind of um, stuck indoors, it's a wonderful opportunity to just restart your life, you know, and get something um, really fun happening. Um, quickly, a little bit more about our adventure tourism summer program. So again, this can be taken um, in the short course over six months, or it can be stretched out over a full year. And the students in this course are going to be learning experiential leadership, backpacking skills, alpine climbing, um, uh, the wilderness first responder, which is um, a first aid course, so that um, these students, if they wanted to get work, uh, working in an activity company or something similar, uh, this is a great opportunity for uh, those students. Students coming on the full year will have a one year study permit with work allowance, and they'll have quite a lot of scheduled break time where they can um, uh, work full time in this program. So this program and our Adventure Tourism Winter are both really for people who want to get out of the classroom, but still be getting uh, fantastic learning, still coming into Canada on um, a study permit. Um, this is uh, some of our downhill biking uh, photos. So Whistler is an amazing destination uh, for people who already bike. But again, I like to stress that if you don't already bike or ski, that is not a requirement for our full year programs. Um, it's only our guide training programs uh, that there's a requirement uh, to have the sport ability. Um, this photo is a photo from our mountain sport technician program. Um, these students are learning all of the uh, tools and, and tools of the trade of working in the ski or bike industry. So this is a photo of Sam, who is our boot fitting instructor. So um, a lot of these students are snapped up for jobs um, in either Whistler Resort or for people who come from other mountainous areas where they may have this kind of job. So just a recap on the mountain sport technician, uh, students are coming out being a certified bike mechanic, they're going to build their own skis or snowboard. They learn boot fitting, ski tuning, um, and uh, trail building. So it's a pretty amazing course. Uh, we understand it doesn't appeal to everyone, but those people who want to learn these things, uh, they just find this course to be the most amazing thing they've ever done. Um, this is a photo of one of our ex-students, Danny. Danny's actually a lawyer from the United States who uh, had already completed her law degree 
but decided she wanted to do something different. Uh, she came and did our bike guide training program for six months. Uh, then she loved Whistler, didn't want to leave, and she stayed on and did the media and marketing program. So um, you can see that's kind of the typical way when people get to Whistler, sometimes they're not so keen <laughs> to leave again. So we do have lots of students taking multiple programs. Um, this is the background for the Adventure Tourism Winter uh, Program. This one is based all in the winter in the mountains. So really, I recommend it for people who have already had some experience with uh, snow and winters. Otherwise, I would more recommend the Adventure Tourism Summer Program. But again, you're out there in the backcountry learning from certified guides. And it's an amazing way just to learn about the outdoors and enjoy um, a break from your normal life. This is Guillaume. Um, don't worry, it looks very extreme there. That is just a picture of one of our guide um, instructors um, out doing what he loves doing. Um, this picture is from our ski and snowboard guide program. Uh, students learn everything about avalanches. Uh, they get their different certifications if they do want to work in that industry. So the two guiding programs that we have, again, are our ski and snowboard guide training, which is an, a winter program, and our mountain bike uh, guide training program in the summer. You do uh, have to have experience in these sports in order to get into these programs. Here's Emilio again. Emilio is from Italy. He came to Whistler for the marketing and, marketing and media program. He loved it. He did his co-op placement with uh, Mountain Life Magazine, which is a, a ski and bike magazine. And then he actually got sponsored to come back to Canada and work for that magazine after. So uh, he really uh, thrived in this atmosphere. Um, and then some of these pictures are just um, to show you where you could be uh, living um, in, in this beautiful resort town. Um, so a few more photos. I'm just trying to think of other things that you might need to know. Again, the minimum age is 18. We do um, an interview with every student before they come. And our English requirement is IELTS 4.5. So intermediate English is a requirement to attend. Uh, it is a lower requirement than many post-secondary schools um, in Canada because our focus is more on um, learning by doing as opposed to writing exams and doing uh, a lot of written material. So the English requirement isn't quite as high. Uh, for students who maybe don't have the kind of proficiency of IELTS 6 and higher, uh, Whistler Adventure School is a great way to get into um, a Canadian um, learning institution, improve your English by living and studying in English, and then perhaps um, going on to another post-secondary school where uh, perhaps the English requirements are a little bit higher. Um, and if you don't ski already, um, that's not a problem. Chances are, if you spend a whole winter in Whistler, you'll catch the bug and want to try it because uh, we are lucky enough to have uh, beautiful mountains covered in snow. Um, so the temperature as compared to say Vancouver is that in the winter we are higher up. So all of the precipitation that falls as rain in Vancouver is snow up here in Whistler, which we love. And then in the summer months, we actually um, have a little bit warmer temperatures than uh, Vancouver. So we get nice, warm, dry summers and then uh, snowy, cold winters. So a few more photos. There's Alain again. Um, we, we only have about 100 students per year. So we are a small school. Um, and because of our small class sizes as well, of, of a maximum of 15. And we recommend, if you're interested, that you apply at least four months before um, you want to start your program. And this is a little shot within Whistle Village. I, I know all of the students. This is our student, Miles. He was from the United States. This is the famous peak to peak gondola. Um, I think I'm about at my 20 minute mark. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions if people have questions for me about uh, the school and the program. This is a nice little summer photo. Here are some of the lakes 
Uh, Whistler has five beautiful freshwater lakes. Um, and this is the little town of Whistler here where, and the other thing I didn't mention is that uh, there are many, many jobs available here. Um, there's a shortage of employees because we're a big tourist destination. So our students generally have, um, you know, multiple job offers within the first uh, week uh, because there are many employers looking for uh, staff. Awesome. Thank you so much, Shelly. And those are wonderful pictures, too. <laughs> I wish we could be there. <laughs> yeah. So we do have some questions for you coming in. Um, so the first question would be, what are the employment opportunities? Great, great question. So um, Whistler is a town that has a permanent population of about 12,000 people. And we host, um, we have about 50,000 hotel and condominium beds. So the biggest employment um, is definitely in the tourism and hospitality. Um, so lots of hotels, lots of restaurants, but we also have lots of activity companies. Uh, Whistler Blackhome, who run the mountain, a bike park in the summer and the ski mountain in the winter, is one of the largest employers. They own a multitude of shops, restaurants, rentals, working on the mountain. So there's a huge variety, but I would say the majority are in um, tourism, hospitality, and recreation. Awesome. And still on the topic of job opportunities. Um, someone would like to know how much can you earn after being certified? So maybe like a range. So in Canada, the minimum wage is approximately $15 an hour, just under $15 an hour. Um, in Whistler, because we have a, a shortage of, uh, of uh, employees, the starting wage tends to be closer to $17 or $18 an hour, um, up to say 20 to, you know, even... We have students working even just at the gr local grocery store and they're probably they're they, I think they start at 17 and go up to $18 an hour after the first month. So if you calculate that when you're in a study period, you can work part time. So that means you can work up to 20 hours a week. Um, and then in your scheduled breaks, you can work full time 40 hours a week. Um, I would have to do the calculation. Hold on. I can do that. So 17. So in the months that you're, um, in the weeks that you're studying, you could look at, you know, earning about $350 a week and double that in the, the um, months that you are on a scheduled break. So what we say is your best to save up all the money for your tuition before you come, uh, because what happens is that people tend to spend the money that they're earning having fun when they're in Whistler. So, um, and the IRCC will want to see that you have some funds saved up before you come in. But most of our students manage to earn enough to pay their rent, pay their expenses and, and have fun while they're here. That's awesome. And that's a great tip. Thank you, Shelly. Uh, so we have another question. Someone wants to know if anybody can apply or if they need experience in extreme sports. So the only core programs that you need experience are the guide training program. So if you want to apply for marketing and media, you don't need to have any sport experience whatsoever. Um, there's no sports involved in it. The only thing that we go back to is that you should have the desire to live in um, a mountain environment. Now, some of our students don't do any extreme sports. They just like to go for walks in the mountain, maybe go swimming in the lake in the summer that's totally, you know, that's totally normal as well. Um, we do attract some extreme athletes. Uh, we have some champion downhill mountain bikers that, you know, want to come because they want to do those extreme sports, but it is not required for our full year programs. And the adventure tourism summer and winter are introductory level. So you don't need to have experience with biking or alpine climbing in order to join those programs. Okay, that's awesome. Um, someone would also like to know how cold does it get at Whistler? So in the winter time, um, you can see the in this picture that you're looking at right now and the valley down below, the average temperature in the winter, and I'll be talking in Celsius because that's what we uh, use here in Canada, um, would be usually between 
minus five to plus five. So sometimes it's freezing in the village and sometimes it's not. Um, then the mountain goes straight up. So the, there's going to be quite a big temperature difference at the top of the mountain than in the village. So it might be minus one is probably the norm in the village, uh, but it might be minus eight or nine up on the top of the mountain. Uh, we like that in Whistler for the winter because it's, um, we wanna have that good dry snow. Um, but in the summertime, the average temperature is, I'd say, 25 to 30 degrees. So we get nice, warm, dry summers. Okay, awesome. Um, what is the cost of living at Whistler? So usually what I'll say is it's if you take any uh, large Canadian city, say the city of Vancouver, um, Whistler would be 10 to 20% more expensive than living in the big city, but you're also going to be earning 10 to 20% more. So for your uh, accommodation, for example, you can be looking at spending anywhere from $600 a month to $1,000 a month, depending on what you um, want. Uh, you know, I always say you have to be willing to um, maybe change your standard of living from, you know, if you were living in your own two bedroom apartment at home, uh, that would be more expensive in Whistler. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's, it varies so widely um, amongst different people, because if you are uh, going out for dinner every night or going to APRE and buying beers in the pub every night, your cost of living is going to be considerably higher than if you're cooking at home and, and um, not going out so much. If I, sorry if that doesn't really, but it's, it's a tough question to answer because everyone's lifestyle is very different. Of course. Good. Thank you, Shelley. And does uh, Whistler Adventure School have student housing? So we do not have our own student housing. What we do is uh, we help to facilitate. That is probably the most challenging aspect for our students because Whistler is a, a very popular place, uh, certainly in the months of November, December. So what I say is, you know, it's almost the reverse of most places. Most places it's easy to find a house and then you have to work hard to find a job. Um, Whistler is the opposite. You can find a job in your first day, but it might take you a couple of weeks to find your accommodation. So what we do is we work with um, the hostel, the youth hostel that is very close to the school. And we recommend that students book at least three weeks in the hostel for when they first arrive to give them the time to then find accommodation. And we have um, our own student Facebook page, which is a closed group where students can share. And if someone's looking for a roommate or whatever, and then there's lots of other Facebook groups and so on, um, which is generally the way people find accommodation here. Excellent. Thank you so much, Shelly. So You're we're going to start wrapping up this session. Shelly, there's a contest going on, right? For Whistler Adventure School. Yeah, we do. Okay. Because we are into our... Um, our media and marketing, we thought that we would see if people wanted to submit um, an awesome photo that they've taken um, about something they like to do or the outdoors. Um, and uh, that's the contest that we have going. So please submit some photos. You've seen some samples of the photos that we have been sharing. There's, I guess I kind of stopped on that one. Uh, so send in your photos and we can, uh, we can have a look and share them. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for your time and thank you everyone for attending this session. If you'd like more information, feel free to chat with Shelly Quinn directly or visit the Whistler Adventure School booth. See you at the next session. Thanks everyone. Bye.